Hey guys, Matt, Mike, Jason, and we are going on another adventure. Moon's not coming with, unfortunately, uh, but we are flying to Jacksonville uh, to go to the Moultrie Georgia swap meet. I've been hearing the fall swap meet for years is like a little hidden gem for uh, fall swap meets and uh, because of the weather it turns out the fall is actually better than what we're used to here where the springs like really good for our swap meets and fall usually isn't as good for them because the weather's so hot in the summer um, and early on that the fall ends up being good so we're gonna fly into Jacksonville uh, rent a car and or a van because you know we're gonna buy lots of good stuff and we're gonna head up to uh, Boneyard Restoration and Custom, uh, Jimmy May that runs the shop. Uh, he and I have been have bought and sold together. I bought some, some good speed stuff from him uh, like a year ago and we kept in touch and he said he was not too far from the airport and he adds up there, kind of gave us a, a little insight on when to go and all of that. So we're gonna head up to the swap meet for setup day um, and do the setup and uh, you know, kind of do a little bit of head hunting there early. And then we're gonna do Friday. Unfortunately, our flights got moved around, so we have to kind of make it a little shorter. So Saturday we fly out, but we're gonna see what we find. As always, we're gonna try and stop at junkyards and see what the heck is alongside the road and who knows what's gonna happen and uh, hopefully buy some good stuff. So we're gonna hop on a plane and uh, we'll be a little warmer here shortly in a couple hours. All right, so uh, we were heading to visit uh, a friend and we decided to make a little road trip sideways to get away from like the coast. And uh, what I usually do, like every time I go anywhere, is look up the closest junkyard and head there. So we headed over to Tim's Auto Parts in uh, Folkestone, Georgia. And they were on their lunch break, but they were nice enough to talk to me for a minute or two. And as expected, they didn't have any 30s, 40s Ford stuff, but they did give us a lead on another place that's only uh, a little ways north of here that supposedly has like tons of old rusty cars on either side of the road. So it's like a big old junkyard. And they said all they do is that rusty old stuff. So uh, that is exactly what you said, just like your shirt. So that's where we want to head. So that's the uh, proof. I do it all the time. You just find a, a, a good old junkyard and you're polite and ask them if they have old stuff and uh, usually you can get a lead. So we're going to head over there, see what we find. Sounds like there's a lot to see. Uh, we'll just have to see if there's anything we can buy, but they said it takes over both sides of the road and we can't miss it. Yeah. Watch for snakes. I know. 46, 48. Lots of old hoods and fenders under here. Doors over there. There's more 46, 48. Oh, look, there's a bunch of. Is it a little cold for snakes? I hope so. I don't know. <laughs> Good thing we all got jeans on. else we can find. Places like this you gotta always be looking in the weeds because Model A parts laying on the ground. Model A frame. Another frame, or rails, at least. Remnants of a, uh, looks like a 26-27T touring body, RIP. Must be some more stuff in here.
All right, here's a Studebaker. Pretty rusty, but what's really cool, these little gauges in the Stude are really killer. It has like the TV style speedometer. It's kind of faded there, hard to see, but I love the little switches here. Be killer in a 50s. 50 style hot rod or early 60 style hot rod. All right, now we're back in truck country. There's tons back here. Is that a jail bar? Yeah, it's uh, like 47, 48, or 46, 47 rather, or even 42, like the meat truck maybe. It's a woolly mammoth. Shoebox Ford. Chilling out. What we want to see is what this interesting thing is. It's an ambulance. It's got a jump seat back here. Really? Things are going to get bouncy. Sorry, guys. It's got a jump seat there on the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so neat. I bet somebody would love to have that back hatch. It's probably like ambulance hearse specific. There's a better shot. All right, we might have found our favorite thing here. It's even hard to get in the camera. This is so kick-ass. Is it? Dude, might... The engine is literally next to the driver's seat. All right, that sounds amazing. It's an international. Let's see what... Yes. Oh, like Kubi holes behind that. <laughs> so you can, you can tune your carburetor while you drive. Dude, this is amazing. We need to find one of these that's not so... Imagine this for like... Uh, oh my trailer. god. Look at the front end on it. Dude, it's so rad. And there's storage up above the cab. You can put the tea in there. Dude. Dude, you would roll. This is amazing. There's absolutely no room to drive. Oh, this is, a, this is a cot for sleeping about behind you. Dude, that's rad. Yeah, this is this is your mattress back here. So what are we thinking? I'm not going to lay on that one. No. Dude, the whole back of this is all metal. Bracing? How are we going to see it? Dude, this would be a great swap meet. Car hauler, cross the country cruiser. Oh my god. Put the piston hanger on the side. Literally. I can just tell everything to on there. Oh, there's plenty of parking. Take the phone. <laughs> oh, bell housing. Dude. Oh, there's another one. And here's a flathead block. Yeah. Dude, the inside of this thing is so killer. Oh my god. If you could like revive this thing without getting rid of the shittiness of looking, this would be amazing. Dude, you could fit the T plus more sh stuff in here easily. Oh, yeah. We could easily fit the T in here and sleep in here. Oh, this is really cool. So if anyone has a lead on one of these that's not sitting in a junkyard... Uh, we'll ponder. Is, I'm kind of in love with this one. Still got some of the lettering on the back side. Yeah, I, don't know what it was. I tried. It's like Norton. I think we probably go 
go back as far as you can read it. North it's American on the side. Is it like a movie? Oh, North American. It's a North American truck. It's got the two circles. It's a little moving truck? Yeah, something. Dude, this is, look at these hinges. Like Art Deco style? I don't know. They're just amazing. This would be... All right, we found our next... Uh, project vehicle? Needed project. Always got to look in the trailers. Tune up. Bardall. Fresh valves. Definitely got to ask about that one. Start of our pallet. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I don't know if it'll fold it in half. Yeah, we can do that. I can. I know a guy who can fix it. It's an old mail truck or something. Holy crap. Hello. Jesus. Oh, there's Jay. Lots of neat stuff. Clutch department. Of course we are. Now we definitely Yeah, let's go. Come on, hurry the fuck up. <laughs> well, found sniffed out some Ford parts and that good old sign that I had to have. Yes. Way back yonder. It's rough, but it'll look great in the shop. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, I might need a help just to make sure I don't break the bottom off. I might need to ask for some plywood to secure it. Sounds yeah. like a trip to the Home Depot. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what our Georgia chapter has available. Hey, spin around, spin around. That's upside down, but that's okay. Oh, well, there, Home Depot. I couldn't see. Is it like this? Yeah. Jay, move. The block on the sign, man. Oh, yeah. It's a little, a little crispy. Yeah, whatever. I guess we definitely are shipping a pallet home now, yeah. huh? Yeah. I'm just starting off right. That's what we do. I buy something big so that we... Isn't that how it worked in California, yeah. too? Yeah. Then everybody could shop guilt-free. You no, know, we're sending a pallet back. Matt is the guilty one out of the group that takes the, the guest game out of it. Well, I just, I just get you guys warmed up. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at that, I bought the sign that fits perfectly. That Better than the Ford, the Ford yeah. sign the last time that was in Jay's face the whole ride home. All right, I'll walk up and say thank you. All right, Jay, what's the verdict? Verdict is, why you got to have that thing on right now? Because we want to know how you did. I didn't put my makeup on. Uh, I don't know. We can go in, but we got to pay, or we can just wait till he gets here. So I asked him. They said if she's like, I hate to have you guys pay, and then he shows up in ten minutes. But how he's much got is it? it's ten bucks a person. Oh sure, well, I'll do. I'll do that. I know. That's what. I'm, well, I'm just saying. So right there, we can get in. Yeah, I asked her. I said, well, where do we pay if he doesn't show up in like reasonable time? She goes, you can pay her. Oh, we're done. Get in the van, Jay. So what do you got there, Matt? Well, found a couple intakes for a good deal. A little block letter, EPA, which is a little unusual, and then just a sort of common, but it's got that neat little block plate, block off plate on it. So, not too bad. Four is before lunchtime score on setup day. Nice. Nice. So, we walked 50 feet. It always goes to show if you're walking with cool parts, you find more cool parts. So, the guy saw us carrying the uh, the intakes we just got and said, hey, that's a real flathead van. You probably need a set of heads. And uh, took us back to a space and instead of wind, foreign or lift cheater heads, we're not gonna take them apart, but real good deal. So now we're going to collect our other intakes that we had to set down to go get these heads. So we're doing good. Not even 10 o'clock. Yeah.
I mean, they're so wasteful in Georgia, they're throwing shit away like this. Just kidding. I actually paid for it. But... Sweet. No, I, I paid more than 75 dollars so, stone. So. I, well, I, mean, I thought you said you gave two seconds, but you still stole it. I did a good, I did all right on it, but I have to do 1200 on it. But it's, uh, it's probably worth that. Yeah. I would, I would be thinking about a thousand, but. All right, end of day one at Moultrie Swap Meet. Yeah, we got some good stuff. So, scored some Hawaiian cheater heads. You guys saw Jay scored a nice little tail housing for Muncie, and I got some 36.4 grill trim. We got that. We already had that stuff. 36, uh, 35, 36 center waterfall. Jay got a kick-ass old uh, Dago, drop, Dago pack. drop pack. So I got a couple of flathead intakes. You have drums. Took drums. Got this 34 grill we found in the trash can. Uh, guy gifted us a flathead valve tool. Valve tool. Which, uh, if you guys are watching this, first guy to comment below gets this for free because somebody gave it to me and I already have one. You have to have a flathead though. It's just you have to. We're gonna verify. If you don't have a flathead, you're gonna resell it. So we're at our favorite. Anyways, side tangent. Our favorite Home Depot. Not sponsored. Not sponsored yet. So we're, uh, we're obviously shipping a pallet home. So we came to pick up. Luon. So we got our cheap Luon, which just signs a POS. So I need something for the back anyway. So. It's kind of like California all over again. Yeah, but we're better at it this time. Better. So we're gonna unload this stuff and see if the Luan fits the, we didn't bring a tape measure, we we'll borrow one. So we're gonna check, see if we can uh, get this sign to fit on the Luan. Hopefully it's four by four. We roughly measured it with our eyeballs. And uh, yeah, then we'll see how we can pack this together so that tomorrow we're not rushing around like California and like uh, doing it minutes before we're trying to leave so trying to be a little more organized and hopefully you guys don't make fun of us because our palate is isn't as bad as hey California. they can talk all the shit they want it got there in got one there piece one piece it was cheap and nothing broke yeah all right so we're gonna pull all this stuff out and see if we can get it to fit i'd say we let's try to slide this piece of wood under it well, i was gonna say we could if you wanted to we could do is take the sign out place it on here and then slide it back in same what if you thing. You didn't have to slide the oh. sign out at all. I need to slide this underneath. Oh, that, that's... Careful. Look at the dead body. Slide it underneath. The pre cut 4x4 four four piece fits perfect. Wow, my eyes are good. Yeah, they're calibrated. Says a dude wearing glasses. Highly calibrated. <laughs> all right, we're going to put the sticker down. Yeah. All right, get a shot of that sign, Mike. Ooh, it's awesome. So good. It's so perfectly shitty. Now go forward. Iron Trap Shipping Department. Like a uh, monkey having his way with a football. You guys are doing a good job. I feel like I'm back at work again. I do this like all the time. All right. Boom. All right. Okay. Ready to ship. Yeah, that guy's definitely not buying that guy that tried to hag haggle me to buy a grill and didn't have any money in his pocket. He didn't watch your video. No, he didn't. He, 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 rule number one, have lots of cash. Plus more. Yeah, plus more. All right, day two, Moultrie. Yeah. Put some hubcaps already for the 39. The other two on my bag. Nice. They're perfect, just the right amount of shittiness. Let's see what else we find.
All right, so we ditched the swap meet a little early on Saturday, or wait, Friday. Now we're driving around back roads, uh, trying not to get shot. But we're, sorry for the bounciness, I'm just walking, but we're uh, just exploring, trying to find old stuff. And uh, we're just driving by and what do we have back here? Some kind of neat old car. Way back in the woods. Looks like there's an old building that fell down. And what do we got? Looks like a Chevrolet. Some, still some good chrome on it. Not what I'm looking for, but we're on the hunt for rusty junk and back roads, so see if we find anything cool. This one portrait tree is taking its life, but still pretty cool. Keep running down the road. All right, random dirt road. Old, some kind of lots of buildings around here that is kind of abandoned. We saw two wheels. So. And here is an old mail jeep. Don't want to get in trouble, so we're not going to go in. But pretty cool. Really neat. Just stashed in there. I'm assuming on a dirt road. Not a 32 Ford. Keep looking. help but I'm holding the camera. Is it even on? Yeah I'm recording right now just to just to record you wrapping the pallet. Oh thank you. You are like this man, is that like guy, that guy Jay doesn't do shit. This is the like your redemption the best content I could possibly record all weekend so I wanted to make sure I got it. <laughs> Two monkeys football. Something yeah. like that. And the football is winning. <laughs> Two monkeys doing something to yeah, a football. One, you got zero. <laughs> That's true. This pallet looks way more professional. We redeemed ourselves. Uh, this is way better than California. It looks pretty professional. Although we didn't buy as much as California, but still. Yeah, three sets of wheels. Yeah, we did pretty good though. This one, this one will be, uh, I feel a little better about this one making it. <laughs> yeah, sweet. All right, so Saturday afternoon. We made it home, and uh, before dinner time, it's cold. It's cold. It sucks. Uh, it was like perfect weather there. I think it was like in the 70s during the day. Yeah, and at night it got a little chilly. We were, uh, we we crashed in the minivan like literally all all the whole time we were there, <laughs> and uh, so we just like drove up to the SWAT meet the uh, the night before setup day, Wednesday evening, and just like crashed in the park uh, parking lot. I mean, we lot. did get there on setup day, technically. We got there at 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, so yeah. We, we slept in the van, got a little chilly, and then uh, we were like first in line to get in the door, and uh, and then Thursday, we basically did the same thing. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, we did the same thing. We slept at a Walmart last night. Yeah, I slept at a Walmart parking lot <laughs> last night. Whatever, we didn't spend any money on a hotel, which is great. A little uncomfortable, but it totally worked out. We, we lived off of... Uh, Mexican food and Waffle, Waffle House. House and yeah, that was pretty much it. It was Jay's first experience at Waffle House. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, you know, we had to save some money because somebody with the rental car. It was a little expensive this trip apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, don't, uh, pro tip that Mike didn't know, don't, don't get your rental car from like actually at the airport because they, they just bend you over, um, which happened to us. It still was actually pretty cheap. 
If you include it as a hotel room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are you guys complaining about? Anyways, uh, did really good. We got everything wrapped up like you guys saw in the last couple shots. Um, I snuck my favorite thing I bought in my bag successfully with like really no hassle. Um, we didn't get a video of it, but the, the guy running the x-ray thing. Dude, his face was the the priceless. He, he was like, like was running through the like, you know, monotonous day, just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he was like, <laughs> and like, you can see him back the conveyor belt up. He's like, look like, raising his eyebrow. And I like immediately walk over to him and he, he takes my, my bag off the conveyor belt. And he like unzips it and I did my typical, it's a priceless antique part, you know, early car, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, it's fine. I said, put eyes on it. You're cool. So gauge panel was like, no problem, but got my gauge panel home. I'm really psyched on this. This was something that uh, I just wanted to bring home with me because it is a little fragile. And number two, Moon psych that we're home. Oh, hi, Moon. Um, number two, I want to try and fit it to a dashboard that I have. So um, we're going to ship everything back. We'll do we'll, we'll do a video like we do other times of like our bounty video. We'll unpack the, the uh, pallet of stuff, show you guys what we found and uh, what we got. So we got a bunch of stuff like after what you saw already. Um, so we'll show you guys everything we got and make sure that everything arrived okay. So um, really great trip. Thank you to everybody that we saw that helped us, you know, especially Jimmy, they helped us with uh, um, just kind of a place to put our parts and yeah. let us hang out and everything like that. That was uh, really awesome. So thank you for that. All his buddies in his car club that were uh, really great to us at, yeah. the, at restaurants and all that stuff. So good time. Thank you to anybody that stopped us at the swap meet. Um, we're definitely, I'd like to come back next year. What I'd really like to do is do the Moultrie swap meet and then do the uh, turkey rod run in Daytona. And then maybe someday I'll do Perry, Moultrie, turkey rod run. But we're hashtag not sponsored, so I can't afford yeah. to freaking do that. Yeah, and it's take too, off too much work. money. That's a lot of money for a rental car. Yeah. yeah. Well, mainly just getting off of work and all that. But we're going to definitely try and do Moultrie again last year, uh, next year, because it was really fun and the flights yeah, were really time. affordable. So um, hopefully we can see some of you guys there. So. That's all we have for this one. Thank you guys for watching another adventure video. We'll be, be, be back to working on cars uh, here pretty soon. And our next trip is going to be uh, the Turlock Swap Meet and the Grand National Roadster Show. So we're really psyched on that. We're gearing up for doing that at the end of January. And that's going to be a pretty epic adventure. We'll actually probably have a few videos oh, because of that, just because everything that's going on. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff. See you later.